Welcome to WTDC 17 here in Buenos Aires, Argentina, where I've got the great pleasure of being joined in the studio today by Jefferson Puednasif, who is the Head of International Affairs Office for Anatel in Brazil. Jefferson, thank you very much for joining us in the studio today. I appreciate my pleasure. Now, I'd like to start off by talking about the, the theme of uh, this year's conference, WTDC 17, is ICT for SDGs. What are regulators, in what way basically are regulators contributing to the integration of ICTs into national development plans? First, it must, must be said that ICTs and the themes that were, uh, the themes are quite appropriate. Uh, we are right in momentum to explore the SDGs after the approval of the uh, United Nations General Assembly. So it's up to ITU uh, to devote all the efforts so that we can reach an agreement on how ITU can definitely deal with this uh, important issue approved in the UN. And uh, regarding the, the regulators, well, so, uh, we must uh, work together with uh, policy makers, makers and uh, the ministries in our countries so that we can uh, reach agreements on how can we definitely and effectively implement SDGs which are uh, extremely important. Uh, every and each one, we have uh, different responsibilities. Uh, in Brazil, uh, just like many other countries, as regulators, we are responsible for executing for implementation of public policies. And it's up for the ministries and the Congress uh, to, to design uh, the, the, the public policies for telecommunications. So it's, it's up to, to us to coordinate in a very effective manner and definitely reach uh, the sustainable development goals. Now, we've got, uh, obviously, high ambitions to ensure that connectivity reaches the next billion. What policy and regulatory measures do you think need to be put into place for that? Well, the, uh, uh, this, is, this is very important. You know, it was um, quite... Um, every time we tried to connect another billion, I remember we, when we were discussing uh, almost 10 years ago uh, how could we connect the first billion, then we had to connect the, the second billion, and now we want to connect everyone, which is quite a challenge. Um, although uh, the challenges that we face, uh, maybe connecting the first, first or the, the second billion, it, it, uh, it would be easier. Uh, since uh, the more you try to connect the other billions, the more difficult it is, because uh, there are many people now that we want to connect that are living in, in very isolated areas, or in very poor, um, in a very poor situation. So uh, it represents really a quite challenge for regulators and, and for, the, for the private sector uh, as a whole. Uh, uh, for instance, in, in Brazil, we are trying um, to manage this in, in this following way. Uh, we have universal plans, and then we, uh, as government, we, we demand private sector in the concession terms or in the licensed terms uh, to cover areas that are underserved. That, that was extremely and is being implemented as an important policy uh, for Brazil. Otherwise, it would be quite difficult uh, for private sector by itself to reach those areas. And there are many mechanisms in which you can use. You can use, uh, for instance, uh, tax and fiscal exemptions. That would be one way. Uh, the other way would be uh, fostering um, all the benefits so that private sector can, can reach there, or reducing um, equipments, for instance, uh, uh, leveraging taxes for uh, equipment. That's another way. So there are many ways in which uh, the private sector and uh, regulators and policymakers can work together so that we can reach this, uh, the other billions, other billion of people. Now, we're seeing a rapid evolution of the ICT sector. Uh, we have artificial intelligence, cloud computing, Internet of Things. Do you think that uh, regulators are moving fast enough to accommodate these changes? I can say that we are trying. Uh, although it's quite difficult for um, uh, anyone to, uh, to keep up with so many disruptive technology, uh, what we are uh, living today is a revolution inside the revolution. Uh, intelligence, uh, artificial intelligence, IoT, uh, they all represent many challenges for regulators and for the market. And the market is, is going uh, extremely in a rapid pace. It's quite difficult for regulators and policymakers uh, 
to, to implement regulations for technologies. So what we try in, in Brazil, and, and that's, um, that's usual for the regulators not, and it's quite wise doing this way, is not trying to regulate technologies. Otherwise, you can make uh, artificial impediments for the development and for the creation of other services. So um, it's quite important for us to keep this in mind. Let's not try to regulate technology otherwise. Uh, we would be very obsolete in a very fast way. So, uh, but, but there are many other important issues that we as regulators, we must uh, work with. For instance, um, how these technologies are affecting uh, privacy, how these technologies are affecting uh, data, data protection and, and, uh, and consumer interests. So um, if technology is quite difficult to, to regulate, we must at least think on the impacts of those technologies in, in those three areas that I mentioned. Now, I can confidently say you're a familiar face here at ITU events and uh, conferences. What do you hope will come from this particular one? Good. Well, the ITU WTDC is a very, very important uh, conference. Uh, it's important uh, because it's a way in which uh, it's a momentum in which we can uh, express to ITU and to other countries uh, what are our expectations regarding the cooperation regarding exchange of uh, information in study groups or many other uh, important events of ITU. And we are here with very high expectations. Uh, the expectation that we can uh, actually profit from, the, from an, an ITU conference uh, in this uh, uh, cooperation. Uh, so um, it's for regulators and for uh, ministries, for everyone that's here, including the private sector, ITU represents really a locus of this exchange of information. So um, uh, it's, it's amazing how we uh, get together here. ITU has this, um, maybe is the only way in the world in which we can find everyone, not only governments, but also the private sector. And the exchange, exchange of information is quite valuable. Uh, we expect that WTDC continue in this, this track, uh, that the study groups and, and the other uh, conferences and meetings of ITU continue in this way, being a, a very important place for, uh, for us to meet. Well, thank you very much for joining us here in Buenos Aires, and uh, we look forward to catching up with you again sometime in the future. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you.